Right guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to fit 1140 cassette to your uh, road bike, and we're also using a 5236 mid compact front chain set as well. So it's a mid compact with an 1140 on the back. So we'll go ahead and we'll get into it and try it out. Right, so as you can see here. We've got 5236 on the front with a R8000 GS rear derailleur. As you can see there, it's a long cage version on the back. So I'll go ahead, I'll get a 40 cassette put on the wheel, on the road wheel. We'll take it from there. Right, so here we have uh, a DT Swiss um, R23 road wheel. You can see there, 11 speed road. Now, if you're going to be fitting, like we are, a 40 cassette, this is obviously this is a mountain bike cassette, um, 1140. So, to put that on, this being a road free hub, what we need to do is get a spacer like so. Get yourself a spacer, and then put the spacer on like so first before you fit the cassette and that's to stop because if you fit this cassette obviously a mountain bike and a road cassette it's slightly very slightly different so if you go ahead and fit this cassette on there um, without the spacer the majority of the wheels will need the spacer on the road wheels because if you fit this without you may find that the cassette's got a load of side to side movement in it like so even when the lock nut's done up the cassette will be moving so the spacer eliminates that play so I'll go ahead get this on there get it tightened up and we'll go ahead and fit the wheel back in the bike right so there we have the 1140 fitted onto the wheel wheels back in the bike like I said this is a GS rear derailleur R8000 no modifications and no road links in there or anything like that it's just straight on the derailleur hanger um, now it was fitted with 1132 cassette previously so now what you've got to do is say if you had 1128, 1130, 1132 whatever you had on the back now you fitted the 1140 to the back you have to change up to the 40 at the back and then what you need to do then is get yourself a 2mm hex head like so Locate the uh, adjustment screw, B screw, at the back there, that one. You've got high and low over there, and then you've got the B screw there. Just, and then, as you can see where it is at the moment, it's the teeth. There's not enough room there for a chain to pass through between the top jockey wheel there and the 40 uh, tooth sprocket on the back. So you just have to get the B screw like that and we'll just turn it in a little bit. So as we know there'd be enough gap for a chain to pass through. So just turn it in a few times clockwise and then what you can go ahead and redo then we have to fit the chain now because this is a 40 on the back and obviously like I said it's a 52 36 mid compact on the front we've got a brand new chain so that's 116 links for a brand new Shimano 11 speed chain so what I'll do I'll go ahead and run through fitting the new chain on there right you can see there that the chains on now that's a full 116 link chain Shimano chain with the quick link there as you can see added as well so it's not just joined the chain is not joined it's got the the quick link in it as well so it's a full 116 links there now 
yours uh, may differ a link or two depending on what size frame you've got obviously one extreme to another you could have a you could have a 60 centimeter frame or you could have a a 52 centimeter frame so it may vary depending on if the chain stay length is different um, but as you can see there I'll just put a full chain on brand new chain with missing link in it right, one thing to note with this with the 1140 on the back like I said earlier I haven't made any other adjustments apart from like I said the B screw with the 2mm hex head allen key but just make sure when you've got the chain on and it's over in the 40 at the back just make sure that it's adjusted enough so the chain passes cleanly through there if you get any interference problems just uh, give it another tweak clockwise on the uh, B screw just so you get the clearance there for the chain that's all it does right so we've got it on the 52 at the front here and the 11 on the back there like you would have it let's run it up You wouldn't be going a lot higher than that anyway, because you're cross chaining, so I'll run it up towards the top anyway, like that, there you go. That's a 52 and 40 on the back, obviously you wouldn't be doing that because you're cross chaining it too much, but just to prove they work, I'll just drop it back down again to the 11, like so. Right there we have it on the 36 and the 40 at the back, you can see there. Now I'll just go ahead, I'll go down to the 11, as I say you wouldn't be doing that because you'd be cross chaining right down here anyway, but just to prove that it will do it. There you go, it's on the 11. Obviously you wouldn't be doing that like I said, but just to prove that it will go on there. Like so. So there we have it with mid compact on the front. Right, so I've shown it a dem demonstration of it working on with a mid compact. Now like I said earlier, you may find that you could fit a full length chain with a quick link in it on your bike or you may have to just remove a link or remove two links out of it. You just have to see how it is with your size, your particular bike, your size frame. So like I said, this one was just a full length chain on there and it works no problem. You might have to drop yours down a couple of links just to make sure that it works correctly and the chain's not too slack or anything like that. So uh, bear that in mind when you're doing yours. Right guys, there you have the... Uh Installation complete with the 1140 set there and the 5036 on the front mid compact. So, if you found the video helpful in any way, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content. Till next video, ride safe, and I'll see you then.